<sighs> we did it. What'd we do? We finally watched a Marathi movie. Yep. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reaction TV. It's Corbin. Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Then we're also on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. That was juicy content right there. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this on other videos, but people have noticed and said, well, first of all, people were really happy we mentioned languages like Tulu in the music video. And other people said, what about this language? What about this language? We know there's a, a lot of languages in India. I selected those eight languages because it's my understanding those are the eight languages that are the predominant contributors to Indian film on a global scale. Not that that doesn't happen elsewhere, but it was just those eight. I wanted to clarify that for people, why those eight were selected. So there you go. Bit of a titty bit of information. Oh, what? Titty bit. <laughs> Uh, yes, a, so a family program, Corbin Miles. We, no, it is not. Uh, <laughs> and we finally watched N Not Some Rat. <laughs> I liked the way you gently stepped into that. I always mispronounce it. I don't know. You didn't that time. Not Some Rat. Not Some Rat. It's because he said it multiple times in the thing, and mm -hmm. so that helped. Yeah. The king of theater yes. is what that means from I learned. Unless it means something different and the subs are wrong. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't cut that could be. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, go ahead and read this in upside. After he retires, an aging theater... I'm gonna start that over. After he retires, an aging theater actor and his wife begin to feel unwanted by their children. So basically, Rick Siegel's life. Wow. <laughs> Classic! Well, that was good. <laughs> Burn! Uh, directed good. by... I'll say his name for me. Directed by your mom. Oh, good one. <laughs> Mahesh Manjakar. Uh, I don't think we've seen him in anything else. I think he's a Marathi. Hold on. Was he the director of Slumdog? Mm, no. No, that was... He was sunk. Danny Boyle. Danny Boyle. Okay, so... Um, but obviously starring... Nana Patakar. And uh, I want to get this other guy's name. Yeah. Yeah, Vikram Gokali. Yes. Is that how you pronounce that? Forgive me. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. I knew Vikram was right. Meta Manjakar and Rinmayi Deshpande. And uh, it's, uh, we, this was the, I think it was the first Marathi film we did a trailer reaction to. I could be totally wrong. It was early on. Yeah, it was a, it was a while ago and we loved, 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 the trailer. loved the trailer. Loved the trailer. Obviously we're actors, so anything about acting, it's just like, ooh boy. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. We're like Hollywood. We love films about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> a movie about movies? Yes. I'm in. Uh, but yes, so it's our first Marathi film uh, starring the uh, the legend. From what Yes, we understand is... I think when, when we did this, they said, so what Big B is to Bollywood and Hindi film, this legend is to Marathi film. Makes sense. Yeah. Highly so. Uh, but yes, uh, so this will be our review of it. Uh, probably... It'll be a non-spoiler spoiler review. It came out in 2016. Yeah, so. and basically, if you haven't seen the film and want to see the film, you probably should see the film and then come back because we'll just jump yeah. into it yeah. right off the bat. We're not good at... <laughs> in our reviews, we like talking about I must say, specific. I appreciate that they spelled theater right in the synopsis. I think there. you said that last time. Yeah. I think we, when we looked it up. I appreciate that. So, uh, I'm interested to see what you thought because this film, as I was watching, I was like, a lot of aspects to it you can relate to very much. Not every yeah. aspect, of course. No, no. There's no. a whole yeah. lot. We'll get into that. This is well. basically King Leonidas, Shakespeare's King Leonidas reimagined right. for the Marathi. It, 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 yeah, it's and it's a little bit of everything in terms of the the, the Shakespearean. Yeah, there's a lot of Shakespeare. A lot of Shakespearean which is great. connection of King Lear and Lear. Yeah, uh, Leonidas. Yeah, yeah. and he references repeatedly to Hamlet. Um, so yeah, uh, and the whole. I mean, well. As a whole, as a as a whole, I had this was a definitively mixed bag for me. How about you? Same. Okay. Same exact thing. My f favorite thing about it, and and 
Uh, I didn't hate it by any stretch, it's, uh, that's not what this is going to be, so please know that. Um, uh, the two actors in it, this gentleman... Him says, and his wife. No. Oh, 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 him and his buddy. Him and his buddy. Yeah, so, uh, uh, Nana Padakar. And, and Vikram Gokali. Anytime either of them, especially when they were together... Yes, you those could, were my favorite moments. You could tell they were elect, like they were just... It was, it was funny, um, uh... Because I'm sure this is like, these are two legends. Right. And they were talking about being basically two legends of theater. Right. So I'm wondering how much of that was real life. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm sure they're both legends, because, but they were both phenomenal. Yeah, they, those were my favorite moments of the film, was when those two guys were working together. Yeah. Um, 100%. And, and uh, right up to, I mean, every moment they had together, like, if I could splice those moments and put them together... Those were the points where I was most engaged in watching, and the two that stand out for me the most are the hospital scene. Yes. That, where they're doing the scene together. Yeah. That's probably my favorite moment in the movie. Yeah, that was... Is that... Yeah, that yeah, 100%. And then, then the ending sequence on the stairs. Yeah. Those, those for me, encapsulate Anything they were favorite. both in were phenomenal, yeah. and he also, Nana... Na, not, not a part of her. Not a part. Yeah, I he had a bunch of great that right. monologues, a bunch of great moments. Yeah, uh, very Shakespearean, uh, which was what it was supposed to be. Yes, um, and so those aspects, I can see why these two. I want to see much more from them. They're just like just, it felt just like when I watched um, Nasserdin Shah. Yeah, in, in Deborah, you're yes. like this guy. This is guy's talented. a great actor. Yes, and so it's it's one of those things that I, I could watch anything they do because. It was so enjoyable when they were on screen. Yeah, and I, I gotta tell you guys, every actor you guys have ever said to us, you need to see their work, they're a legend, you haven't let us down. Mm -hmm. Every actor we've ever seen that you have said, this is the real deal, we've walked away and said, yep, they are the real deal. Yeah. Clearly, clearly, solid, strong, great yeah. actors. So I would love to see more of them, please recommend that stuff. Yes. Um, the, where, where this film felt a little short to me, well, not felt short, it felt long. Uh, <laughs> it felt really long. Yeah, so this is one of those films that even though we've gotten used to the, the, the time length, the way the director, I think, intended it was it was supposed to be like a play. Uh, it was, yeah. It was very play. Like, yeah. it was very, very play. And, like, they could have cut it up a lot. And it could have been uh, much faster. You would still got the same impact. Yeah. But I, I think that's what he was going for. And also, um, you know, Indian audiences have much longer attention span than we have. 100%. So uh, a lot of people probably didn't care as much. Right. Uh, but that th this was one of the films that felt long to me. Me too. And, and here's the reason it felt long for me because, and this is where... Uh, I like, let's, do, we're going to sandwich this of the things we just mentioned that we like, the things we didn't like, and then we'll end with positives that we like again at the end and just wrap it up as far as, is it worth seeing? Is it not worth seeing? I think one of the biggest reasons it felt long to me and probably one of the reasons why I didn't connect to the story the way, I, from the trailer, the movie wasn't what I expected based on the trailer we saw. Uh, and that wasn't so much the issue for me as it was, I am pretty confident that references to culture, references to Hindi, um, India, <coughs> Indian plays and playwrights, and particularly some of the nuances that are very unique to this region of India and what family life is like. Yeah. There were so many times where something for the family, for example was a really big deal and I was looking at it going why is everybody so bent out of shape over this yeah and it didn't make sense to me and what I give it is I have no cultural frame reference and so I can't I can only say this was my observation and it really didn't engage me because I didn't see where the stakes were so high and why everything was such a big deal and and those cultural references and nuances or what made it feel long and kept me from engaging. And it's not the movie's fault. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that my frame of reference is so ignorant that I, I would really, I would love to learn more about the Marathi people and culture and writings. And maybe in two or three years from now, come back and watch this again. Yeah. In the same way we weren't ready for certain films like Lagan or Devdas until we understood more about Indian culture. I really feel like this came of... 
which we needed to get to it, but it came too soon for me. And I felt like it, I, a lot of it got lost on me. Yeah. Well, my, my the biggest thing where it disconnected for me was actually the, it's similar to DevDoss. It's the same things you were talking about. The stakes for some reason were really high and I didn't understand. Didn't it. understand why. It was very melodramatic in that aspect. Really uh, soap opera-ish. It's yeah. When, when that, it wasn't these two. Yeah, that's the other aspect I was going to get into was on just a, an artistic level, yeah. which isn't a cultural thing. Those two guys were the only actors that kept me riveted. Yeah. His wife was the next best yeah. one. Yeah, I agree. The rest of the cast for me was not yeah. good at all. Well, I, I think the I, cast, I, honestly, this is my opinion. I know you wouldn't agree. I think the cast was probably better than in terms of what Sanjay made them do in DevDoss because he made them overly over the top. Sure. Uh, being that, that's what I mean by that. Uh, but these people, um, it was... They weren't strong actors, but then also like the, the, the story of that maybe I just was lost is why the stakes were so high. Also, the score behind it was barely soap opera-ish. Well, you know what it and felt? So, there were several times... I'm not a fan of soap opera. Yeah, there were several times when it was really... That's why I said it's such a weird mix. Because you have the moments like the hospital scene and that end scene on the like, stairs. Well, anything with these two is right. phenomenal. And not just their acting, but the whole feel of it mm -hmm. for me it was like, ah, I'm in a film. Mm -hmm. But when there were moments when it was his kids. And the family. And yeah. the family, it really felt like a intro student film project at AFI. Yeah. Intro, not even a thesis level. And I, that disconnected me a lot. Yeah. So it was a very weird mix yeah. for me. 100%. Um, I, I think I feel the same exact way. Um, but I, like I said, anytime, that I, like I was, I was brought out of it sometimes, like with anything that happens, and the, the, the background score was like distracting. Right. Um, and the stakes thing, like for example, the, the fact that they were deeply, I could tell, his daughter and, and son-in-law were deeply offended that he would mention the sexual overtones of A Streetcar Named Desire yeah. at that dinner. And it was like, you just embarrassed our whole family. And so for us culturally, it's like, what? What? And the same thing with uh, teaching his granddaughter how to cuss back. Yeah. The level of offense that was taken just for me was like... Yeah, I get it. I it's a much more conservative... Right, which is not, that's why I mean, as much as I didn't like that and couldn't connect, it's one of those things where I, I really feel like this, this film is a Marathi film. It needs to be seen through Marathi glasses. Yeah. And I've never worn those before. Yeah. And I want to get adjusted to what it looks like to see something through a Marathi lens. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because this is, a, I don't think this was ever made in, with an intention, that may have been, to be a, a global film or even a film that would be more widely accepted outside of this particular audience because I feel like it is, it is, its thumbprint is Marathi. Well, I, I feel, yeah, I feel like it could have been if they would have stuck more to the main guy and the theater as not much. Yeah, I mean, which is what the trailer gave me the picture of. Well, I know the, the, the thing was theater imitates life is basically what the whole yes. grain of the film was. Right. The King uh, Leonidas, I'm not, I know, I'm Leonidas. familiar with it. I've never read it. I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. Anything like that. But I'm familiar. It's basically a slow descent into madness. Mm -hmm. Kind of like most of Shakespeare's things. A lot of, yeah, a lot of his <laughs> tragedies. Yes. Um, are just uh, some guys slow descent into madness, which is this guy couldn't cope with not being on stage anymore, basically. And that was his life. Yeah. There were some interesting lines about acting, some of which I, when they talked about being an actor, some of which I completely agreed with and others I passionately disagreed with. Mm -hmm. And one of them, like for example, when the guys, it was very touching. Like when he walked into the theater and saw it had burned, that, I know that how I would feel, especially if that was my theater that I had done all that work in. And then that moment where somebody came in uh, they, they were there and the authority was there and the family was there and he's losing his mind and he says to the cop says this is my domain mm -hmm. this is my kingdom and I could so relate to what that guy was going through it's a it's I kind of wish I kind of wish this had been a one person movie yeah that could have been really interesting and where he enacted all of the characters and maybe we had flashbacks or something but we never left that theater that's what the trailer made me think yeah that's what be. that's what I thought it was going to be yeah too. and it became more of a soap opera melodrama with this family well, yeah which disconnects me me too uh, but like I said 
I loved any time, basically, especially in his older self, not uh, like Nana Pedicure. Pedicure. Yeah. Whenever he was in his older self going mad. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Anytime this man was on screen. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what what else has he done because he was so good. He was exceptional. Oh, he's in the Akshay. Uh, how and there were some really beautiful lines in regard to uh, just their moment. That, that was another really nice moment when they're cremating his wife's remains and he's not going to leave until the skull cracks, mm. you know, and which anybody familiar with Hamlet, that, that moment for me was like, ah, this is kind of that same moment that Hamlet has when he's holding up poor Yurik's skull. He says, how many times did I look in these eyes? And Which was something I really enjoyed. All the Shakespeare references. Yeah. Right at the end. Of the, uh, exactly. Talking about the daggers and all these And that's why I really, my, my first impression of it when it was over, sincerely, <laughs> was just, oh, I'm glad that's over because it was a, a, a work of labor to get through it because I would like to learn more about uh, the playwrights in India who have contributed some of the things they quoted that I know just went over our head and why some of these societal norms that for us aren't a big deal, but for them would be deeply, deeply, deeply offensive. I want to get that framework and come back into it again and watch it again yeah. with that understanding. Well, we'll watch other Marathi films. The uh, Sarat will probably be the next mm -hmm. one, though. We've seen a few things from it. And we want to get to everything, guys. Like, for example, for you Bengalis, we are, we've already talked about where we want to go with that. So yeah. we're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting for all of the regions we're going to represent you. Yes, we are. We are getting to all of them, so we are sorry. Yeah. But uh, yes, please. I, I definitely, especially if you are from India, I think you would definitely enjoy oh. this film more. You get so you much get more it. than we do. Yeah, you'd get it way more than we do. Uh, and expect. I would watch this just for the performances of those two men. Uh, yeah, that's why uh, the watch it, do watch it, don't watch it. I would say do watch it. For Americans, I'd say don't watch it. Yeah, I, I, I mm, yeah. It's it's tough. Uh, maybe we can cut it up with uh, their performances. Yeah, I just I feel like, like I feel like you would need to have it's even one for the thespian friends. I would say I, I don't feel prepared to watch it. Yeah. So I wouldn't tell anybody who doesn't know anything about Indian film to watch this yet. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I, I'm hoping I'll get to a place later on down the road where I'll watch it and go ah now I get it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, let us know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And please help us understand these cultural references. Educate us. Teach us why this would be offensive. Why we missed the certain things. And tell us who are the playwrights in India we should be getting to know that are the Shakespeare's of Indian theater. I want to know who those people are. Hundred percent. Let yeah. us know down in the comment section below.